Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about the rotary tool from Tuck Life which I've recently purchased for my projects. So let's dive right into the specs. The motor has 200 watts, 10,000 to 40,000 RPM, digital speed control with LCD display readout, you get flexible shaft in the kit, carry case, 60 accessories and free attachments and you get two years manufacturer's guarantee for a peace of mind. These were definite selling points for me as rotary tools in this price range are usually only around 130 watts with only up to 30,000 rpm and have no digital speed control. So let's take a look what's inside the case. There is a warranty card and a manual in five languages. Flexible driver installation instructions. A shield attachment for when using with cutting discs. A handle attachment for better grip of the tool with a flat nose piece to secure the handle on. And a cutting guide to maintain the constant cutting depth. You get a rotary tool of course, so let's take a closer look. The outer shell is made out of hard plastic, which is rubberized for a soft grip. It definitely feels good in a hand and there is a nice weight to it. The sides of the tool are dedicated for the vents to keep the motor cool. At the top we have the LCD with plus and minus buttons for adjusting the speed. Motor brush caps so you have the ability to change the brushes if needed. Shaft lock button which you'll use when tightening or loosening the chock. A nice flip out hanging bracket when using the tool with a flexible shaft. The power cord is 170cm long and is reinforced near the tool. The on and off switch is then located at the back of the tool. At the front we have a chuck with a collet, accepting maximum diameter bit of 3.2mm. And under the nose we have a fret for all the attachments. I'd be interested if it's the same as the one on the Dremel. Please let me know in the comments. This one is roughly about 18.5mm wide. Next we have the flexible shaft neatly stored at the top part of the case. It is 110cm long in total. Both ends are reinforced with a spring and it fits on the tool fairly easily. Just remove the nose piece and loosen the chuck. Pull the flexible shaft out and insert into the chuck so that the brass ring sits flush against the chuck. Tighten in place using the provided spanner. You can then screw on the fitting collar onto the rotary tool and you're all set. The chuck on the flexible shaft handle is exactly the same as the one on the rotary tool itself, except it doesn't have the locking button. So to tighten it, you have to use a provider X key instead. Handle fits in hand quite comfortably and you can gain great control with it. Just bear in mind the minimum recommended bend radius for the shaft is 15 cm. So what else do we get in a kit? There is some cutting discs stored in a nifty little container and a plastic organizer with the rest of the accessories which I'll show you next. You get a mandrel with six sanding bands, a stainless steel brush, two diamond coated cutting wheels, spanner, chuck tool and a spare collet, three wood carving bits, five diamond coated bits, eight grinding stones, side cutting bit and a drill bit, four felt wheels with a mandrel and 21 cut off wheels with two mandrels. Well it looks like you get a lot for your money and the first overall impressions are great. But is this tool and its accessories going to live up to its specs? Watch part 2 where I test some of them and where I check the tool speed with a digital taco. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share or subscribe.